This is What's Wild in New Hampshire by wildlife biologist Eric Orff. Hey, guess where I am today? I'm going to swing by Laura Ryder right there. And <laughs> I'm in the fishing game parking lot. <laughs> awesome place here and awesome staff. Laura, Hi. how long have you been here? Oh, 30 years. <laughs> 30, get out. Yes. So we were both younger 30 years ago, weren't we? Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a good haul. What a wonderful place to work. What a wonderful family. Yeah. And uh, tell me, Laura, what are some of the things you do and uh, what have you seen changed over the last 30 years? Let's go a little more in depth with something like that. Hmm. Well, um, we've always been an agency, of course, that focuses on conservation of fish and wildlife in the state um, but uh, we've, we've w actually we've witnessed an awful lot of change in regards to things like search and rescue and AOHRV and in, in terms of the entire agency we've seen an awful lot of um, a lot of extra pressure there okay um, what what do you think the number two job when I mean, we protect and conserve fish and wildlife what do you think the number two job is and you're an important part of that <laughs> <laughs> well, um, uh, it's education, yeah, communications, communications education, absolutely. Education Telling people important. what's out there, right? That's right. Not only in terms of educating people about, you know, the ecosystems and the habitats that are here, but they live in too, right. right? They're a part of it. We're all a part of it, and we impact things, and things impact us. Um, but we're also um, communicating out to the public about events, opportunities. You know, we're also engaged very heavily in trying to get people to get out there. Right. right? And what didn't they, <laughs> as I said, we found that uh, that uh, the, the outdoor places, protected lands, public lands, were as awesome medicine during a pandemic. They were huge. And didn't they come? Yes, they did. And, you know, we saw, you know, we saw an uptick in license sales and stuff, which was fantastic. Yep. But even more so, um, just that people said, hey... You know, I can do this. You know, right. they all went out and they got into it, and we're just really trying to hang on to that. Okay. Keep people connected. Keep people connected. And that was kind of kind of the mission statements of Fishing Game, isn't it? Something about connecting it's a, people to yes, wildlife, right? It's a connecting life, to, connecting you to life outdoors. Okay, yeah. awesome. Yeah. So I know you've got a lecture series, and tell me a little bit about the name of that, and what are you doing with that? So currently, um, we have a series called. It's a webinar series. And it's called New Hampshire Climate Change and Wildlife. Climate Change and Wildlife. Yes, we're all about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's a series, and we really feel like there's so much, so much going on, especially in the natural resource management community, with uh, doing things to mitigate or to work in regards to wildlife. And New Hampshire Fish and Game is doing a lot of work, but it's really not kind of getting out there. Huh. And um, and a lot of people don't really fully understand what's going on with climate change in New Hampshire. This is you know, amazing. Wow, we're, we're losing our moose or yeah. our shrimp are gone. <laughs> right. we, you and I can rattle them off yeah. one after another. Most people just aren't connected. So, uh, you know, it's happening here. It's mm -hmm. happening now. Exactly. And we all have a part in the solution. Yes, we do. Everybody can. And even though you think, oh, why me? Just little old me. How am I going to do? Not so. There are things anyone can do just in their day-to-day -day lives that will help. You know, the cumulative value of everybody just doing a little right. can turn out to be a lot. Yeah, you know, as I say, every raindrop adds to a storm. Exactly. <laughs> so exactly we need right. to storm climate change. Awesome. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you, Laura. So we're, we're going to get on that. So Laura Ryder from the Hampshire Fishing Game, thank you very much. This is wildlife biologist Eric Orr for What's Wild in New Hampshire. Yeah.